Hi, welcome to Scholastic Video Book Series, Circuits and Systems, Book 3, Thevenin's Theorem, Part 2. In this lesson, we are going to look at Thevenin's Theorem with a current source and some resistors. This is the circuit given, which has a current source indicated by an arrow here, I equal to 3 ampere current source and two resistors 10 ohms and 15 ohms and a load resistor forms. Find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit of the above. So first step is to remove the load and open circuit the current source. So that means there's a current source here. So if it is current source you need to open circuit it, not short circuit. If it's a voltage source we normally short circuit and now we have a circuit like this where we have an open in the resistor and 15 ohm resistor here this one will not come into the equation because this is not connected to the circuit so therefore our r thevenin's resistance looking at this side is equal to 15 ohms step 2 now replace the current source and determine the open circuit voltage so we have the current source as it is from the previous uh, question and we have the two resistors R and R2 and the idea here is to calculate the open circuit voltage which is also known as V Thevenin's. And now our current I dash flowing through this circuit will go around here, it won't go out because it's open circuited and if you look at carefully this I dash is equal to I therefore I can be I dash can be easily calculated to be equal to 3 amperes. So if there's a I dash current going here then we can calculate V Thevenin's because I dash times 15 ohms will give a voltage across these two terminals that is V Thevenin's equal to 3 amperes I dash times 15 ohms 45 volts. Now our task is to draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit resulting Thevenin's equivalent circuit is simply this one where this is the Thevenin's equivalent voltage R Thevenin's is the Thevenin's equivalent resistance we found in the previous page 15 ohms and this is the load resistor so this is the answer if you want to find out some values like the load current now we can just simplify use the circuit to find the load current 15 45 volts divided by 15 plus 14 19 volt ohms will give the load current so it's much simpler to calculate load current using this circuit than the previous circuit thank you